welcome everyone. My name is Julie Gillette and I coordinate the Buddhist Ministry Initiative. I'm happy to welcome you on behalf of Harvard Divinity School. Thank you, Rinpoche, for Thank you. Thank you very much. As part of our activities, the Buddhist Ministry Initiative welcomes distinguished practitioners and teachers from Buddhist communities to join with us in exploring the ways we might engage Buddhist thought and practices and their applications to the world. Tonight, we have the great pleasure of hosting Pak Chok Rinpoche. Pak Chok Rinpoche will speak and offer, offer practical advice based on the iconic poem, Mindfulness, the Mirror of the Mind, by Nyosho Ken Rinpoche, a revered meditation master, scholar, and poet. The innate nature, the whole sentient being has, the innate nature, that he refer king of mindfulness. Because, because of the innate nature, that's why we have mentally, mental mindfulness, mind, uh, me, my mental creation mindfulness. We don't have no innate nature. We cannot have mindfulness into practice. You understand? Right now, what are we training? Mindfulness is the mental meditation, mindfulness. Okay, I should be present, and I can should present, I should focus my breath, I should feel my body feelings. Okay, I should feel all the body's movement, all the breath. I should be, all, all this practice is mentally created practice, being mindful. Now, why are you able to have that? You, you all should know, you have it, this mindfulness meditation, you're able to practice. You have a mindfulness with you to yourself because the innate nature of the mind is already have clarity, already have mindfulness. So because of that reason, you can able to do that. All right. when, we, when you hear mindfulness, mindfulness is a really, really, um, how you say, um, in English, it's a very, very big topic. Right. I give you one example. In Tibetan word, mindfulness. Mindfulness actually means not forgetting, but at the same time reminding, right? Reminding, but at the same time knowing what is wrong and what is right. Right? This all is actually can be mindfulness, right? Temba. Right? So actually mindfulness actually means that you should not forget what is the view, what is your meditation, what is your conduct, you know, being human being, like human quality, right? That is actually mindfulness, right? In Buddhism, we say chirpa, all right? In our, our, our word, we say chirpa. Sometimes we use behavior, right? Sometimes we use conduct. But I prefer to say behavior, right? So when you have behave, you can meditate every day. You can meditate, you can have quite good, but your behavior is very important. So now you use the mindfulness. Langdur miji bitemba means you know, you know exactly what to take the positive action, what to abandon the negative action. Now that is the one of, uh, uh, how you say, the, the, the real mindfulness is what to bring into your life to increase and what to actually reject. Okay, so for example, I went to watch a movie. So the person who um, look at the ticket, okay, the receipt, the ticket, he told me that, uh, he told us, me and my secretary, he said, you need to wait for 15 minutes because the time is not yet. But before that, he says, what is the time? So I, I show my watch like that. And he didn't like it. He said, you tell me what is the time. So in my co concept, telling him is more unrespect than showing the watch. Right? For his perspective, I am not because of told him, I look him down. Right. So now we have different perspective. He's upset, upset. I know he's upset. So I went back, I waited, waited, and I tried to meditate a little bit, you know, relax, talk to my secretary. I told him, he's upset. <laughs> right. 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 So 
because of mindfulness that I can see as a mirror in my reflection, I should not think he is bad. Now this is how the mindfulness works. When I go back, I smile at him. Hey, thank you, man. I just walked by. Thank you. He didn't reply. It's fine. It's okay. You don't need to judge him. You don't need to compare him. You don't need to take him. But just take, very, take easy. Hang loose. Take easy. Hang loose. Right? I'm talking about practical. Yesterday, right? I went to watch a movie. So this is a yesterday experience. Right? <laughs> now, because of take easy, hang loose, and that mindfulness reminding myself not to hold on my behavior, I can enjoy things better. Right? So it's very important because when you talk about a mindfulness, it's not just be present. Very nice. But are you going to be present for all the time? You need to say, hello, Mr. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, you, you know, you present always like that. You cannot talk conversation nicely. Right? I think. You can't be, yes, how are you? Fine, thank you very much. Are you okay? I'm fine. What is the point? Like, you can do that when you are a meditation teacher, right? But you are a normal person, you can't do that because it looks strange, right? <laughs> right? So, my practical is you need to have mindfulness to watch, to reflect your expression, your feeling, your verbal speech, right? So that you need to have mindfulness. So mindfulness is a tool for view. Mindfulness is a tool for meditation. Mindfulness is a tool of your behavior. So mindfulness is, becomes like a mirror to reflect to you. Conscientiousness, okay. That is actually part of mindfulness. Carefulness, for example. Oh, I should be careful. That is part of mindfulness. Because mindfulness works as a reminding. Mindfulness is not just being present. Mindfulness is a, just a tool. Can apply to anything. It's like for example, when I drive, when I learn driving in America, right? When I learn one, one car, say Toyota, uh, Toyota something, right? Caramel? Huh? So I know that car driving. Rest of car I know how to drive. Isn't it? So similarly, mindfulness is when you train the mindfulness well, behavior can, can be transformed. Emotional can be transformed. Uh, meditation can be improved. Uh, mm, your weaknesses, you can, you know, weakness, weak, you know, weakness of yourself can be transformed. The strength can be multiplied. All because of the mindfulness. So mindfulness actually is a, one of the most important tool of friend, friendship, the best friend of human being. Why we do mistakes? Because we do not, we do not see the mistakes first. First, why we do the second time? You see the mistake, but you keep doing the mistake again. Why? Because I have a habit to do it. This, both of them, is because of lack, lack of mindfulness. First, you do not see. Second, you, you cannot remind yourself. Okay? In the mindfulness, has a three level of mindfulness. One mindfulness we call Tsolgyeke Temba. Tsolgyeke Temba means with effort. You need to practice mindfulness with effort. So for example, okay, I should be focusing my breath, you know. I should practice compassion now. Right? I don't feel compassion. Okay, it's okay. Keep practicing. So this being mindful what you're practicing, reflect again, again, and again reminding compassion, reminding being present. All this mindfulness training we call Tsol Temba, effort mindfulness. Right? That mindfulness that actually produce or being present because you put effort. But then when you practice a little bit more better, 
then you have a mindfulness called Zolmi Gachamba, effortless mindfulness. Effortless mindfulness is like almost like automatic. You know automatic? Like for example, mm, when you drive a car, right? actually something happened, you, the right feet automatically put on the brake. Right? Sometimes you feel like you're faster than your thoughts. Right? That's so fast, Whew. already like reaction is very fast. But okay? Similarly like that, it works very fast. For example, when I start training myself about judgment and holding, and I practice that as a tool, right? Because sometimes I like to say that when you do the meditation practices, it's very important to pick, I always say this, you need to pick one emotion, one uh, thing that you want to transform in the beginning, right? So you know the in, a, in, in a, uh, America, they, they, told, they say it's like this, how uh, to say? When you do a good job or not a good job, the, how you say the Measurement. Right? Measuring. Huh? Measuring. Right? So pretty sure you're going to say, remember you say don't judge, now you have measuring. Why? Measuring can not be judgment. Measuring can be noticing. Noticing and judgment is very similar. When you have extra emotion, that noticing becomes judgment. When you have a notice, when you have judge, for example, but you don't produce emotion extra, so now that judgment slowly is going to become noticing. So we always need to be in the practical. Then meditation becomes a real, useful, effective, meaningful. Right? So you need to pick one single thing to change.